Howdy everybody in YouTube land. Yuck, it's <laughs> gross. How's Texas? Hey everyone, Johnny Practical Nurse here. Uh, folks, you know, let it be said that I will always do everything I can for y'all to clarify any misunderstanding or anything like that. Uh, I don't script my videos. I just kind of show you what they are and, and kind of uh, let them happen as they do. Uh, mistakes in all people. Uh, I own up to all of them. That said, I uh, wanted to share something with you. Uh, Eddie Ancheletta, and I'm hoping I'm mispronouncing your name, and Eddie, uh, had a really good comment and a question. Wanted to know if I could go ahead and revisit the Tactical Scorpion Gear Level 3 Plus armor and try some other ammunition other than the Independence ammunition. Sure, Eddie, uh, I will do that, brother. No, no worries. Um, there was also a comment by somebody else, and I'll try to remember to share that later, uh, by, uh, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing this right, Janie Barber. And that may be Janie, folks. Uh, again, I'm just revert back to what I've learned in the original beginning uh, when I started learning how to speak. So Eddie had this really cool idea. He asked me if I could please uh, test that level 3 plus armor downrange uh, using some IMI ammunition, uh, 55 grain. Now, he specifically stated uh, M193, XM193. Well, I've got the 223 55 grain version, so we'll try that. He wanted to know if I could try, excuse me, it is hot out here, so I'm sweating a lot. Uh, I wonder if I could try some Winchester 556. Five, Got you covered, Eddie. And he wanted to know if I could uh, try some uh, American Eagle, okay, 55 grain. Hope you all can see that XM193. Uh, I did a, a video about separating ammo uh, one time, folks. Uh, I want to say it was in relation to uh, some ammo cans or something like that. Um, or just separating your ammo out, period, and why I do that, ammo piercing versus kind of non-ammo piercing type thing. Um, and I touched base on that, but I never really did show anybody. So because of Eddie Enchiletta's question, uh, I'm going to go ahead and show that. Now, uh, the other comment was from Janie Barber, and I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right, Janie. Janie wrote me and said, funny thing, you name a company without showing the product name on it. Well, Janie, in the item description, I did state that this was a scrap piece of armor, uh, sent to me for testing and normally normally when I get scrap pieces of anything they don't normally put their name on it sorry but it is what it is uh, next part of her comment and I'm saying her because I'm, I'm just guessing it Janie is a girl uh, female woman whatever uh, uh, next comment was uh, could have been steel you cut at your chicken ranch Janie whoa everyone calm down Okay, <laughs> just calm down. Janie, let me answer that. I appreciate the fact that you think that in Texas that we all have laser cutters because, yes, we are a great state. We have tools immensely, a country boy and tools. But, Janie, I don't have a laser cutter or anything that can cut steel out here. Not as, not as good as this is cut. And I will be more than glad to walk you down and show you how well this piece has been cut. Uh, I will even try to remember to flip it over on the side. There's no label on it, but Janie, just for you, I did keep something. This is a letter from Tactical Scorpion Gear, and I hope you all can see that. Tactical Scorpion Gear. Okay, this is a letter that accompanied that piece of steel. Let me read this to you. Uh, Tactical Scorpion Gear Level 3 Plus Steel Plate Made in the USA. We are compliant with all NIJ standards, so don't pay more or for lesser quality products. A standalone armor plate with multiple hit capability easily passed NIJ 0.06 six shot standalone test against 5.56 M855 M80 ball green tip, which we've seen in the past, people, and 5.56 XP 193.55 grain full metal jacket bow tail. In house testing defeated 30 out 6, 165 grain. Copper tip trophy. Okay? Came with the steel. Came with the metal plate. There it is. That, that's for you, Janie, okay? Just to leave you any questions and thank you for your question, your comments. I really appreciate them all, folks. Okay, now, down to the nitty gritty. All right, here in protection. And again, people, I want to apologize. I've been sweating out here all day. The practical shopper has had me uh, <laughs> out here busting it. We got a wedding going on here on uh, Monday, so got, got to get some things in order here. So I'll tell you what, folks, let's, uh, let's go ahead and start with the uh, IMI ammunition. 55 grain. Now, this is labeled as 223. Now, some of you guys have told me that this is actually 55 grain 556 ammo, their, their, their version of the M193, because 
something about how, how they package it, it's how they get it into <clears throat> into country or something like that. But I, I'll leave that for a theory. Let's 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 put that to the test, y'all. Again, I got Frankenstein radical firearms upper, Palmetto State Armory lower. Locking in one round. No penetration, y'all. Gonna, you know what, folks? I really can't pause this camera, so let's walk down range just for a second. I gotta, I gotta put that steel plate back on, okay? <laughs> so bear with me. All right. So as you can clearly see, people, that 223 round did not, did not pass through. Now, it did leave. Okay, like I said, people, there is no, no labels on this. It is a test round. I see water. Okay, ah, but yet no penetration. Okay, excuse me, folks. I know I'm holding y'all in a different way here. Uh, <laughs> the plate. Okay, you can see the, the strike part. All right. All righty. Head back down range. All right. Let's turn this thing around. Put my hat over this, people, so I can see the little screen there. So I can see what I'm doing. Mag, let's go for the Winchester 556 this time, okay? Now, folks, I am not against, listen to me very carefully, I am not against to anybody sending me anything to test. I'm all for it. Okay, but understand, understand this. I do not, do not rig these tests. All right, that is the condition. Uh, you can send me anything, anybody can send me any armor, any ammunition, whatever they want me to test, but I will not, will not, will not rig a test. Now, listen very carefully. My generation, we were the generation where we said, sometimes the last thing a real man has is his word. Okay, if, if, you're gonna put a label on something, be honest about it, okay? Hold on, here we go. Again, 5.56 five, ammunition, Winchester. Okay, there's a hole, all right? Ah, and it popped the thing back off again. All right, hold on. <laughs> Grab the camera. Again, folks, this is labeled as level three armor, which is supposed to defeat, supposed to defeat, all right, M1, uh, the M193 rounds. Uh, let's try something different here, folks, okay? Bear with me. Again, one-handed. If anybody is ever bored on my days off in the hospital and you want to be my cameraman, just give me a shout, okay? <laughs> All right, try this again, okay, folks? All right, so that was Winchester 556. Okay, Eddie, I hope you're really enjoying this. I made this just for you, buddy. And for everyone else who's concerned. All right? All right. Uh, next round. Gonna grab some of this American Eagle. Whew, it's hot. I'm making sure my friends didn't dump a bunch of stuff in here. Uh, Lake, I'm looking for that funny, cool looking Lake City. Can y'all see that? Okay. My friends come out and give me a buttload of ammunition sometimes. Here, try this. <laughs> so, all right, folks. Federal, American Eagle. 5.56, five, the XM193, big box stores. Here we go. Let's go have a look. I may have hit that on the corner, folks, okay? Hold on just a second. Yeah. 
And there you have two holes, okay? Can y'all see that? Hole there. First hole, Winchester, all right? Winchester, second hole, American Eagle. And I did kind of hit that at the corner, but it still passed through. Hold on, folks, let me try something real quick. And I apologize if I get droplets of sweat on this thing. <laughs> Some of you are going, ew! All right. <laughs> Uh, I don't see any exits here. Machen Sie meine Bundeswehr schon hier, ne? Okay, you're going to find this a bit interesting, people. All right. Um, I have found two items I want y'all to see here. Just jowls of this metal. I got my legs up against this metal thing here. All right, hold on, folks. Let me get in a place where I can see here. Uh, bear with me. I found something, a couple things here I want y'all to see. Let me get a place where I can, it is bright out here. All right, folks. So yes, I found some residue, and I want y'all to see this. All right, people. Can y'all see that? Y'all know what these are? These are the, these are the, from the armor plate that push through the bucket. This is not the bullets, okay? The speed, people, of the XM193 55 grain, impacts the armor and pushes it right through. Now, folks, I want to tell you all something. For those of you who doubt my sincerity, I have on my phone kept the conversation between Tactical Scorpion Gear and I. And while I don't think I should have to mention this, I did it for the naysayers, okay? Because there's plenty of people out there like that. Again, folks, I come from a generation where your word may be the last thing that you have. It is what it is, people. I don't stack the deck. How you see these tests is how it is. Again, let me reiterate this statement by the letter from Tactical Scorpion Gear. We are compliant with all NIJ standards. Well, I'm NIJ standard at 45 feet, people, okay? 15 yards. So don't pay any more for lesser quality products. A standalone armor plate with multiple hit capability easily passed NIJ 0.06 six-shot standalone test against 5.56 M855 by M80 ball green tip and 556 XP 193 93 okay uh, full metal jacket bow tail tactical scorpion gear level 3 plus steel plate armor made in the USA okay uh, Andrew I know I'm sorry, Eddie. I know I apologize for if I mispronounce your name, guys. Um, this is what it is. Uh, I don't stack the deck. Okay. I will never tell anybody how to spend their money. That is your business. I just want you to be safe. I want you to be protected. Okay. Everybody on that listens to my channel knows that's how much y'all mean to me. Okay. I give this information. It's yours to use as you uh, freely choose. I'm Johnny's Practical Nurse, y'all. Until I see y'all again, out here.